Sometimes a longer measurement in feet inches needs to be divided by a whole number. Such is the case for stair making or finding uh, even shelf spacing or laying out post locations across an entire building so that it's neatly and evenly uh, divided. So we're going to do that with feet and inches using fractions and as usual I'm going to have three sample calculations one easy, another one intermediate and the third one more involved. Let's get started with something fairly simple. I'm going to do I'm going to do feet in this uh, purplish color and inches in the green. So you can follow this along color wise as well. How about 16 feet and um, 6 inches. Yeah, 16 feet, 6 inches. And let's divide it by first something easy to you can do this in your head it's not a big deal but for uh, the flow of the calculations the inches will be divided and uh, they are written on written down in an in inches column here and then feet are being divided and are kept and written in this feet column so those those columns will be here somewhat invisible but uh, but maintained throughout the calculation and the f and any remainders in the feet because there will be remainders here will need to be carried over into the inches so let's see something simple like this well 16 divided by 2 of course is 8 and gets written in the feet column and 6 divided by 2 of course is 3 inches so 8 feet 3 inches there are no fractional remainders anywhere so that's just the final answer 8, 8 feet 3 inches the same logic applies to the following calculation here oh, you know what I'm gonna keep the same number but we'll divide it by a different number by 3 because 3 doesn't divide into 16 without a remainder so we're gonna see how this one plays out 16 feet and 6 inches and divided by 3 so let's start with the feet it's usually good practice and the remainder fractional remainder will carry over to the inches so 3 goes into 16 5 times and we have a remainder of 1 5 by 3 is 15 and 1 is the remainder that's one third of a foot do keep it in mind these are fractional feet it's a mixed number and 3 divided by 2 that's just 2 inches that's straightforward there's nothing to do there so this one third of a foot we need to deal with because there is no such measurement as 5 and a third foot and 2 inches but the 5 the leading number in this mixed number the whole number drops down into the final answer so that's five feet the one third of a foot i want to show you here on a picture if there is a foot stick just just imagine that's a foot stick that's exactly one foot long then it's of course it's 12 inches so i'm going to write inches in green and we need a third of a foot a third of a foot would be I don't know that's one third of a foot two thirds of a foot and the last third of a foot those are the thirds of a foot so if a foot here is 12 inches it's fairly intuitive to see that this is going to be four inches four inches and four inches three four inch chunks or parts make up the whole 12 inch part so a third of a foot is just four inches super straightforward in terms of numbers how you do this is the one-third of a foot I'm gonna write it here the one-third of a foot needs to be multiplied by 12 a fraction times the, with a whole number the whole number gets multiplied with the numerator so that's 12 over 3 and every fraction is a division 12 divided by 3 is 4 indeed a third of a foot is 4 inches and that's how you do it with the numbers now this four inches needs to be added because this lands or goes carries over into the inches column so it needs to be added to whatever is already in the inches column 
4 plus 2 that's going to be 6 inches fairly straightforward so that's 5 feet 6 inches is the answer to 16 6 divided by 3 and that's what you do with with the fraction of feet in the next one I'm gonna have the same measurement 16 6 and let's divide it with another number where we have fractional uh, remainder as well fractional feet remainder as well as fractional inches remainder and see how that plays out so 16 6 and 16 6 and let's divide it by 7 how about 7 let's go adventure in again start with the feet 7 doesn't go into 16 without a remainder it doesn't go into the 6 without a remainder so we'll see how this one plays out the 7 goes into 16 twice 2 by 7 is 14 and we have a remainder of 2 that's 2 seventh of a foot we'll deal with it for now just leave it in the feet column and 7 doesn't go into the 6 so book the result it's not that the 6 is going into the 7 don't change the subject the 7 is going into the 6 0 times and book the result and we have a fractional remainder of 6 7 of an inch now those are inches should have written those in green but we'll fix it like so okay now it's green ish so that two this two the whole number part carries down into the final answer two feet but we need to do something with the two seventh of a foot we'll do the same thing two seventh needs to be multiplied by twelve so that's again whole number by fraction the numerator gets multiplied so that's twelve seventh the all right, I'm going to change that one to 24 seventh. All right, sorry, 24 seventh. The seven goes into 24 three times, and we have a remainder of three. Yeah, three by seven, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's good, that's three seventh. Okay, now two seventh of a foot became three and three seventh of an inch. These inches again need to be added to whatever is in the inches column there already. So six seventh of an inch plus three seventh of an inch equals I'm just gonna make addition this way equals nine seventh of an inch. So three and nine seventh. But of course, you can't have more than seven seventh. It makes another hole, so uh, you can carry seven seventh from the fractions into the whole number. So that's going to become four and two seventh of an inch. You can copy four and two seventh into the inches column. That's already part of a flawless fractional answer. There's just one problem: where the heck is two seventh of an inch on a tape measure? Don't worry about it, we're getting there. As is, this is a mathematically flawless answer to this division problem. What 16 feet 6 inches divided by 7? 2 feet 4 and 2 seventh of an inch. That's the answer. Now, to make a meaningful fraction out of this one, this 2 seventh of an inch, this is what you do. Step 1, make a decimal out of this 2 seventh. You can do long division in, uh, if you like. I'll make your uh, viewing time shorter by just dividing the numerator by the denominator. There is 0 0.28 and uh, another you know, decimal remainder. So if you want to visualize this 0 0.28, it's a little more than a quarter of an inch because a quarter of an inch would be 0 0.25. So it's a little longer than four and a quarter inches. That's just visualizing this two seventh of an inch. So make a decimal. And if you want sixteenth uh, of an inch or thirty seconds of an inch, just multiply it by sixteen or multiply it by thirty seconds. Either which way, 
Th these are your denominators and what you're gonna get out of this multiplication is your numerator number so I'm gonna pick 16 for now so just leave it on the display leave the decimal on the display just multiply it by 16 that's your numerator 4.5 so numerator there you the multiplication, the result of the multiplication equals the numerator. In this case, 2 seventh is approximately equal to 4 and a half sixteenths. I know 4 and a half sixteenths is a lame number, but at least you can somewhat relate to it and find it in the tape measure between 4 sixteenths, also known as a quarter inch, and 5 16th you will find four and a half sixteenth and of course if you want to uh, make a normal decent fraction out of it a common fraction because this is good for visualizing but four and a half sixteenth is nine thirty seconds you just get rid of that decimal number just double the numerator double the numerator so a number that's between quarter inches and five sixteenths and you can find it on the tape measure is nine thirty seconds of an inch that nine thirty seconds needed a little bit of rounding because because it's not four and a half it's a little more than four and a half sixteenths it's a little more but so that nine thirty seconds of an inch is uh, a reasonable estimate for this so another number that's acceptable for this division problem uh, 16 6 divided by 7 is 2 feet 4 and 9 30 seconds there that's how you do these things